In this video, we will be showing how to create and apply custom layouts in Cisco Meeting Server. Cisco Meeting Server provides layouts that meet the needs of most typical meetings. Customers can also take advantage of open APIs for additional customizations. The CMS custom layouts require an additional license feature and are defined by the CMS API. The layouts created enable you to customize the meeting experience to meet today's unique collaboration requirements. Now we will see how to configure and apply custom layouts in CMS. Custom layouts are supported for SIP endpoints only. CMS web app and Microsoft clients are not supported. Custom layouts support single and dual screen endpoints, and the custom layouts are configured and deployed by using the CMS API. Let's start out by creating the JSON file that defines the template being created. Here you see a sample of the JSON file. The JSON file has an array called templates. The array has various objects. This example uses conditions where the number of screens is defined. We have objects for one or two screens. We have an array for planes to be displayed. Here we see the definition for each plane displayed. We see left, right, upper, and lower for the location of the edges of each pane. The units are from 0 to 1, from left to right, top to bottom. If there are fewer video streams than panes defined, the first panes in the order of the layout are used. Now we will be creating the template node. Third-party API tools can be used. However, for this example, we will be using the API access from the CMS web interface. We navigate to Layout Templates and Create New. We provide a name for the template node and then hit Create. With our template node created, we need to assign the JSON file that we created to find the layouts to this node. We do this by selecting the template object and choosing the appropriate JSON file we want to use for this template. Once selected, we select Upload from File. And once it is uploaded, you will be able to review the layout to ensure that you have the desired outcome. And finally, we need to apply the template to the appropriate call leg profile. In this case, we want to apply this template to Ms. Smith's class code space. Using the API, we modify the call leg profile for Ms. Smith's code space. We scroll to the option for layout template. And choose a template we created. Select the template and hit modify. Now Ms. Smith's code space will be using a template that is specific, unique, and relevant to her needs. In this case, she sees her students and panes around a larger center pane with her welcome message. As you can see, the video stream for her welcome message has been placed in a pane that is located and sized according to her requirements. There's help available online for configuring CMS layouts. These examples can be found on GitHub, and here you will find examples of different layouts. There are multiple examples for layouts, complete with images of the resulting layout, as well as text for the JSON file. You can find additional information by following these links. And thank you for watching.